All right, in this second tutorial video, we are going to pick up where we left off, uh, where we uh, cr created a, uh, a numerical value and output it to a display. The value was the, uh, the conversion of 125 centimeters into meters. And when we run this, we see 1.25, that's the answer, that's the numerical answer, and because we know what it's supposed to be doing, we know the units there are meters, but uh, I wanted to uh, use text to add units to this. So we'll go back in to our code, and what we're gonna do is go into the text box, and uh, the meter unit is gonna just be uh, a string of text of one character, and I want to add to it uh, the number that I'm going to have, the value, the numerical value. And this block here can will add the, the, a number value and attach it to a uh, text character, which is going to be M for meters. And I have to think, what numerical value goes there? Well, it's the, the meter length. And so I can, instead of uh, sending it, well, I'll leave it to do what it did last time, but I'll get the meter length variable block again and I'll put it there and that 1.25 result will have attached to it the letter M for 1.25 meters and now I want to send that I can't send it to a number output because it's not a number it is whenever a number is combined with a text character the computer looks at it all as a, a text string so I have to go to code output and create not a numeric output but create a text output and I'm gonna call this uh, just length. It can't be the same thing as the other one. Otherwise you get an error message. So it's a text output length. So I'm gonna put, put that here. And if I put this block there, um, now in this output uh, that's labeled length, I'll have the 1.25 M is what I should see. So, this is what I saw before. Now I do have another page prepared and I'll have to say, oh, I just realized I wanted to try something else out. Let me go back in here and uh, I'm gonna create another text output. And I'm just gonna, whoops, I don't want that one. I wanna create it, I didn't create it. I'm gonna call this um, um, intro or introduction. And now I'm gonna grab this down here and it says length, but I'm gonna say intro and intro is gonna be, I just wanna introduce the value. And I'm gonna say the length measurement is dot, dot, dot. And so that can, I can go here. I just need to, it's always this, this uh, text, uh, label is always going to contain this so I it can come at the end here even though I, I might want to put it first on my display. Let's go to the display now and I'm going to select uh, what goes in here is user entered and it is my intro and that's going to say that measurement is and then here I want to put my user entered value which I just called it length and now when I run this I should say the length measurement is dot 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 1.25 m for meters there we go so uh, you can see here how we can uh, put text characters as output we have to create a special text output for it uh, and then the green uh, blocks have some uh, blocks that allow you to uh, use text characters and even connect them to numerical values one last thing here is notes. Uh, they'll come in handy eventually. Uh, I don't need notes for this simple uh, set here, but I can uh, add a note to the top and I could say something like, this is for tutorial number two. And so when I look at this, I'll, uh, that'll remind me that. Um, Lots of times blocks of code need some explanation. So when you go back after some time and look at it, it reminds you of what you're doing. And so we can 
we can input little notes anywhere we want uh, to do that. And this one here could grab a whole section of text of, sorry, of blocks and explain what that section is doing. They don't do anything uh, that re affects the display or the data. They're just there for interpreting uh, the code. All right, so we've learned about texts and about note blocks.